Yeah, so in case you're wondering, the previous video I put up, it seems, as you saw in the title, Archie, if I can bring it back up here, is declining to let Penders get what he wants. You know what I mean? And essentially, there seems to be some evidence that might stack against Penders now. find it again. It says right here, Archie responds to Pender's injunction attempt to copyright. Uh, it says right here, Archie responds to Pender's injunction attempt in copyright case. In other words, this is what they said in case you couldn't read it. It says there was an update in the story we told you about last week concerning efforts about concerning efforts by counsel for Former Sonic writer Ken Penders. Penders to prevent Archie Comics from publishing Knuckles Archives 4 and any other copyrighted material in dispute from the ongoing civil case between the two parties. The response from Consul representing Archie Comics has been made available in the public record. As expected, Archie has asked. Archie has asked the court to deny Pender's request to file for an injunction. Quote by Joshua Paul, the attorney for Archie. Such a motion would be futile because Mr. Pender's is unable to establish that he will likely Mr. Pender's is unable to establish that he will likely prevail on the merits of his copyright infringement claims against Archie. One sided reason in Archie's response includes the denial of summary judgment to both sides made by the court last July. You may remember that both Archie and Pendus sought summary judgment against one another, which, if granted to either, would have in fact ended the case. The, that both requests were denied ultimately, ultimately led to what we thought were settlement terms. Arms reached at the end of the at the end of last year. Quote, As this court recognized in its july sixteenth, twenty twelve decision in order denying the party's cross motions for summary judgment, the issue of copyright ownership in the present case turns principally on which of the two factual accounts the jury believes. Archie's account out which is that Mr. Pender signed two agreements with Archie in December of 1996, they put 66, I don't know why, or Mr. Pender's account, which is that Mr. Pender never signed those agreements, writes Joshua Paul, the attorney for Archie, in the response. One-sided response appeared to challenge the very specific nature of Pender's copyright claims themselves. Another portion of the response contesting the idea of sole ownership for the works in the question reads, Mr. Pender's certificate of registration corresponding to Knuckles and Kidness issue number 17 asserts no claim of authorship to any aspect of the story or artwork featured on seven of the issue's relevant pages, specifically the material featured on pages 5, 6, 7, 9, 16, 17, and 22. Indeed, although the certificate of copyright asserts that Mr. Penders authored the story and artwork that appears on page 24 to 30 of issue 17, the issue in question actually ends at page 22. In fact, Consul of Archie attached the original copy In fact, Consul for Archie attached an original copy of Knuckle 17 to its response as an exhibit, along with a copy of one of Pender's copyrights for direct comparison. Pender's copyright for Knuckle 17 cites pages 1 through 6, 10 through 15, 18 through 21, and 24 through 30. Archie may very well be betting on the idea that page numbers don't line up with Pender's copyright certificate to prevent an injunction. 
It should be noted, Knuckle 17 was the only exhibit from the comics Archie submitted for review. It should also be noted that even if Archie's dispute about soul authorship sticks, there appear to be more collaborations in line behind Penders waiting to see how this plans out. Oh, this pans out. Let's see how this pans out. It's no matter for the moment. Omen, however, as no decision was handed down one way or the other. If we see one pop up, we will let you know about it. More progress in this case should be seen in coming weeks. So basically the issue in question, which is issue 17 of the Knuckles comic book, which is obviously in archives number 4, or is partially the reason why he doesn't want. He's trying to inject, put an injunction to prevent sales ship, which is already too late because some people have Knuckles Archives 4, uh, from happening because of the fact that there are pages that he owns. So, it looks like, from again, the quote what they said, it looks like Archie's betting on those pages to be the key that they need. And furthermore, I think this is going to possibly end, as I've said before, in a positive way, I believe it's going to end in a very positive way. The characters will be back in some way, in one way or another. They will be back. They'll be used again. But there's something coming out of it. And I think it has something to do with his Lawless, C, Lawless Sioux Chronicles. And I think it has to do something with possibly him wanting maybe Archie Comics or somebody to help publish it. So, that's about it. I'll provide a link to this and the one which will be the read only. A link to both of them. So you can watch, watch, and so you can read it yourself. That's all I'm going to say. I'll talk to you later.